Hi guys! Welcome ulit sa ating channel. So, sa video natin ngayon, ipapakita ko kung gaano kadali mag-reformat ng PC or ng laptop gamit itong bootable na USB na nabili ko. So, before we start guys, just want to remind you na please secure niyo yung mga files niyo, um, if ever. And if in case, like for example, uh, hindi na talaga mag-open yung laptop, um, let's say for example yung mga blue screen na ang lumalabas because of the virus, and hindi na talaga ma-operate or ma-open yung, um, yung laptop or PC, unfortunately, um, mawawala talaga or makukurap talaga yung file. But if meron pa kayong chance, make sure lang na i-save nyo, uh, i-save nyo at i-secure nyo for future purposes. Alright? So, guys, let's start. So, una natin dapat gawin. Uh, just to make sure lang, guys, na alam nyo yung specs ng PC nyo, uh, you can also... You can click here and type DX Diag. That's DX T I A G. And since na open ko na siya, so ito yung lalabas, guys. If nakikita nyo, nandiyan yung aspects ng PC. But now actually, guys, uh, itong certain na laptop na to is na subukan ko ng reformer gamit pa rin yung same na bootable USB. So originally dapat ano lang to, 32 bit na PC at saka Windows 7. And ginawa ko, pag reformat ko, pinilit ko at ginawa ko Windows 10. And ginawa ko 64-bit, di ba? Kawawa yung laptop. So, ang nangyari, uh, since hindi uh, fit yung hardware niya at saka yung software na in-install natin. So, tendency is uh, merong error and yun na, naglalag na yung PC. So, on your computer, if alam nyo kung ano talaga yung specs niya, um, double check na lang din. And please take note of that kasi kay kailangan natin yung later. And um, also, please check na lang din ng... Uh, ng files. So, under this PC, I what I mean is the uh, storage or the volume of the storage. So, click nyo lang yung this PC. Makita nyo yung local C and saka yung local drive. So, again, um, normally, mas magandang base na kung ano yung nakasetup nyo sa PC nyo. So, take note na lang. So, for example, itong sa akin nandito is 199 gig. So, that's local C or local drive C. And then, yung local D natin is nasa 97 gig. Actually, kung i-air round off yan, that's 100 na yun. Hindi lang talaga siya exact. So, local D and then yung local C natin. So, that's 200 gig. Okay. Yes, guys. So, um, again, quick recap. Secure your files. Number two, make sure alam niyo yung original na uh, na set up for your PC or laptop. If it's Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 8. And make sure kung anong, make sure then uh, secure nyo or alamin nyo kung anong bit if it's 32 or 64 bit. Lastly, ito na rin yung storage na. Um, kasi yung later, i-edit din natin yung partition. Okay? So, ngayon guys, umpisahan natin. So, first, i-turn off muna natin yung PC. Um, diba guys, loading na. And uh, yes guys, so while waiting, um, just to let you know, or um, just to inform you na lang din na actually nabili ko lang to, and nakita ko lang din sa Facebook, so share ko later yung link niya para alam nyo kung saan pwede bilhin. So since turn off na yung PC natin guys, so pwede na natin kunin yung USB, tapos isaksak natin sa USB port. Okay, ngayong off na yung uh, ating laptop, um, plug in na yung USB. Once ma-plug in na guys, turn on, um, turn it on, and then it's either long press nyo yung F1, F12, or yung delete option. Now, kailangan nyo rin maraman, or make sure na rin i-check nyo kung ano yung possible boot option ng uh, laptop nyo. Now, for this device, actually, F12 yung uh, boot option niya. So, pagka-on natin ng PC, yun ang ating i-press. Okay? So, check natin yung F12. Okay. So, on natin, then then long press for the F12 since yun boot option there. So, ngayon, nasa boot option na tayo or sa menu, kung kita nyo, meron tayong options. Internal HDD, USB storage, CD, CDD drive, itong onboard, BIOS, BIOS setup, and diagnostics. So, dito tayo sa USB storage device. Uh, click enter lang natin. Then, press any key to boot from USB. So, press enter lang din. Then, lalabas ang Windows logo. Hintayin lang natin, guys. So, be extra patient na rin. Medyo, Matagal-tagal din itong um, process dito banda. But please wait lang. And just make sure lang din na yung USB is nakasaksak ng mabuti. Okay. So, once lumabas na to guys, uh, hanapin nyo lang yung uh, language na dapat natin install So, of course, my language is English. Maraming option. But, yes, play natin yung my language is English. So, 
natin or click na natin. Yeah. Then, language to install. Zoom ko na kanta. So, language to install, English, item, or time, and currency, and keep it English. So, next one din natin. And, click install now. Okay. So, wait lang natin itong process na ito. Hanggang sa matapos. Okay. So, ngayon guys, ito nga sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina um kailangan uh, alam nyo yung operating system nyo so since originally windows 7 to so piliin natin yung windows 7 professional and then for the bit guys so 64 x 86 that means yung 32 bit so choose natin tong windows 7 professional 32 bit then click natin yung next again for the os guys depende yan sa um, original na OS nyo, kaya sinabi ko kanina, make sure na i-click mo yun. Then next. Okay, accept the license terms lang. Click nyo lang. And, and, so guys, pa makita nyo. Okay. Then, dito guys, click nyo lang tong customs. Ayan. Okay. So, as you can see, ito yung ating drive. So, para na rin ma-make sure guys na ma-reformat talaga natin lahat, um, I would suggest first, click nito and uh, i-delete nyo guys. Okay. Delete and okay. So, again, morning guys. Kagaya na sinabi ko kanina, make sure na nasave na yung mga files nyo before doing this. So, okay natin yan. Wait lang natin na mawala siya. Okay, next. So, an allocated space na. And then, next, ito naman isa. I'll delete lang natin. Okay, there. And once um, nawala na, um, click lang natin itong new. Because uh, dito natin i-designate yung um, capacity ng storage per drive. So, kanina sa kagaya ng sinabi ko, um, kung ano yung, um, yung default niya na um, memory kanina, like yung sa local C na pinasulat ko sa inyo at saka yung local D, yun yung muna yung ilagay niyo. So, for the meantime, this is for the local C. Um, sa akin, ilalagay ko muna uh, um, 150,000 MB. That's equivalent to 150 gig. Again guys, depende sa inyo kung ano gusto nyo ilagay. But for now, kung hindi nyo alam, pwede nyo i-follow yung default na volume ng storage based sa sinabi ko kanina. So, tapos na. Click lang natin yung next. And let's wait na matapos.
yun guys, success. So, ngayon naman ay gumawa tayo ng partition. So, punta sa my computer, right click, and then click lang yung manage. So, hintayin lang natin may mag-open na new window. Alright. Tapos, hanapin yung storage, and then click yung disk management. Na pagka-open ng disk management, um, sandali lang guys, hintayin natin. Um, hanapin yung yung may allocate unallocated na drive. Yan, ito tas right click nyo, click niyo yung new simple volume. Tas next next na lang, next next then next and then change natin yung label. Um, ano lang, empty lang natin. Then next ulit. Next. Sweet. Yun guys! Woohoo! Tapos na. So, meron na tayong partition and na-reformat na natin ang ating PC. And uh, by the way guys, this is an additional info. So, yung nabili kong bootable na USB is meron ding mga software na available, na downloadable na. So, you can also check it out pagkatapos yun ang may reformat. So, here's how it looks like. So, click nyo lang and then yun, makikita nyo lahat ng pwedeng software na pwede nyo i-download. Diba? Ang galing, guys. So, sa gusto pong bumili, ito po yung Facebook niya, Oliver Garcia Tayaw. 100% legit. So, the bootable USB is worth 1,100. Uh, kasali na po yung shipping fee nun. So, kung gusto nyo mag-avail, um, PM nyo lang po siya. I think always naman siyang available. So, that's it for today guys. So, kung meron po kayong natutunan, um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And that's it. Thank you for watching.